Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to encrypt passwords and other data using PHP. So to get started we're going to open up Dreamweaver and create a new PHP document. Now before we get started you may be wondering why you would need to encrypt something. Well it's a good idea to encrypt your passwords and other personal information before you put them into a MySQL database. That way if someone were to hack into the database the passwords would be useless to them because all they would see was a jumble of letters and numbers rather than your actual password. So the three methods that I'm going to be talking about today are MD5, SHA-1, and Crypt. So I'm just going to take and delete all of the default text in Dreamweaver and start with the opening and closing PHP tags. So open bracket, question mark, PHP, hit enter a couple times, and then question mark, closing bracket, and now we can type PHP code in between those in order to render it out. So the first thing that we're going to do is type in um, the variable that's going to hold our password. So I'm just going to say dollar sign main pass and that's going to hold our variable. So space equals space and then um, open quote close quote and then a semicolon. And so inside of the quotes what we're going to type is just our passwords. I'm going to say test one two three. So now basically this variable of main pass holds this um, password. So now we can use that within our encryption. So I'm just going to hit enter a couple times. And I keep saying that um, you would use a password. You can technically uh, encrypt any text that you put in here, um, but passwords are the most frequent, so that's why I'm doing that for this tutorial. I just want to make a note that you could actually encrypt other information, um, not just passwords. So um, the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to do the MD5 encryption. So I'm just going to basically make another variable. It's going to hold the final result. So I'm going to say dollar sign MD5 pass and then space equals space and then we're going to say md5 open parenthesis close parenthesis semicolon and inside of the parentheses we're going to type our password or the variable that holds our password and since we made a variable I'm just going to copy the main pass up here and paste that in here and so now the result will be put into md5 pass right here this variable that we created so this is probably, uh, the MD5 is probably the most frequently used on the web at the time. Um, most of the major websites use at least the MD5 um, hash in order to uh, protect their passwords and everything. Um, another type that is used is definitely the SHA-1. Um, it's not as frequently used, but uh, it is used, so it will help you out. So we're going to put that into its own variable as well. So SHA-1, which is SHA-1, and then I'm going to say pass, and then space equals space, and then again SHA-1 open parenthesis, close parenthesis, semicolon. And for SHA-1, um, it's basically going to be the exact same thing as MD5. We're just going to copy the variable and paste it into the parentheses, and that will give us um, the final result we put into this variable, and you can do with whatever you want with it, put it in the database, compare it to something else, uh, etc. So the last thing that I'm going to use is the crypt pass, um, the crypt encoder. So basically, uh, we're going to hit a dollar sign crypt, pass and then space equals space and then CRYPT and then open parenthesis close parenthesis semicolon and the crypt one is a little bit different it has kind of a second layer of security so we're going to basically do the same thing we did for the first two I'm just going to grab the password um, the password variable so the main pass type that into the parentheses and then what this has is if you hit comma you'll see uh, it might come up for you for me I have this turned on so that it shows the code hinting um, you'll see that we have our string here, which we already have, and then you have a comma, and then it says string salt. And what a salt is, is basically um, it's a two-letter um, thing that you use in order to strengthen your passwords more. It uses that to help encrypt your password further. So I think that you can get away without using it, but I don't know why you would, because it helps um, to make your encryption a lot stronger. So basically, um, the way that it gives a second layer is that instead of just needing to know that you're using crypt, say someone got your password, they knew that you were using crypt, now they would also need to know what this salt is. So basically, we're just going to type in st for salt. Um, that's just what I'm going to type in. Um, and so basically, they would need to know that your, your salt is st as well as that you're using crypt as your main um, encryption method. So as far as I know, um, last I heard, Crypt had not been broken yet. Um, I know, I think SHA-1 and I know MD5 has, um, but I mean, eventually Crypt will be broken. There's nothing that is unbreakable. I mean, somebody's going to break it eventually. So you just kind of need to stay up on what has been broken and what hasn't so that you can make sure that you are using um, the top security stuff for your site. 
So um, we can actually take and echo these things out so you can see what they look like. So I'm just gonna say echo space and then two quotes and a semicolon. Inside of here, I'm just going to take and grab our MD5 pass variable. So this is the final result of our MD5 encryption. And then I'm gonna hit space and I'll just put in a BR tag, so a break tag there. So it's um, open bracket BR space and then uh, forward slash closing bracket, and that's basically just going to be a page break, so it'll have them each on their own line. So I can just copy this, come down, paste on the next line, and paste another one. And somehow these got spaced out. We can we can fix that. All right, so now um, we're going to take for the second line, and we're going to copy the SHA-1 and paste this out. Now, you probably don't have to do this in your project. I'm just doing this so you guys can see it, and then I'm going to take the crypt one and put this on the last um, layer here. And so now what we need to do is just file, save it out, security, and I'm just going to save over the file I already created, overwrite it. And then we can go over to my website and we can say security.php. And here you can see um, what that actually creates. So for the MD5, you can see we have this string here that's highlighted. And for SHA-1, you can see we have a slightly longer string. And then for this last one, um, which was the crypt, you can see this is the string. And you can see the salt at the very beginning here where it has ST. Um, so it'll have ST on all of your passwords um, or all of your encrypted passwords. And then it will have this... Uh, encoding afterwards. So you can see that just by looking at this, there's no way that you can actually figure out what uh, the password is. Now for certain things, um, I would definitely recommend, here's my recommendation of password encryption. Don't go with any single one of these because like I said, these have or will be broken in the future. So let me give you an example of that. This was our MD5 hash. Now MD5 is definitely used by a lot of websites and some websites or probably a lot of websites only use MD5 as their only source of encryption. And the reason why this is a problem is um, this. So if I go over to Google, let me copy this, and we go over to Google, and I just typed in MD5 decrypt, and it brings up a ton of options. So we're gonna go with this one right here, md5encryption.com. And so now um, it basically gives you the option you can encrypt it, so you can put in a password or something down here and click encrypt it. Or you can go up here and type or and click on MD5 decryption and it will decrypt something. So you just paste in our MD5 uh, hash that we created over here. And so we click decrypt it and you think you're safe and everything. And oh, look at that. Decrypted text, test one, two, three. So if somebody were to get into the database and take the encrypted password, they could easily come here and decrypt it. So, and then some people have created uh, programs that basically compare things in order to figure out your password. So only having one method of encryption on your site could pose a serious security threat, especially if people are able to get to the encrypted passwords in the first place. So that's uh, a different uh, different problem, but um, if they can get there, then they can actually figure it out. So the way that you can defend against this is by, we go back into Dreamweaver. And what I'm going to do um, is delete all these echo things except one because we'll use one of them later. And what we can do is basically take and run these through each other. So you can take main pass, which we have, and put that into the MD5 hash. All right, so then we'll take the MD5 pass, copy that, and we'll paste that to be run through the SHA-1 encryption. Okay, so let me let me just start over here so make sure everybody's still on board. We have our main password, we're running it through MD5, and then we get a new password. We're gonna take the new password, which is just a random string of letters and numbers, put it into SHA-1, and then we're going to take SHA-1, the, the password that's created out of that, and post it into the crypt. Into the crypt, all right? So now we're going to take and put that in there, and then so we'll get crypt pass, as our final password. So if we take and copy that, we could take and put this right here and delete the extra dollar sign there. And so now when we echo the crypt pass, it will be a super encrypted password. We've run it through the MD5, the SHA, and the crypt. And so it will, if somebody figures out that, oh, you used crypt, then they'll get out of that. If they can somehow break the crypt encryption, then they'll somehow get a string and then they'll have no idea what was used before that on it. So they might get a string out of it, but they won't know if it was SHA-1, if it was MD5, if it was some other encryption method, if it was crypt again. So you can mix these up so you could use 
MD5, Crypt Shaw 1, and then MD5 again, or you could just make up a whole string of these in order to get uh, a password that just adds a huge amount of security into your system. So if we take that and save that, and I'm just going to, I'm off screen right now, but I'm uploading the new version of that onto said website, and we'll go over to check that out. Refresh, and now you can see this is our final super password. So even if we were to decrypt this, then we get another encryption. So um, just make sure that when you're doing whatever you're doing with logins or something, that basically you're just comparing this to the password run through that same encryption. So basically, um, that's how you can protect yourself on your website, all your passwords and your users' data, because trust me, they like to have their stuff protected. So I um, hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll have a new video for you next week. Thanks for watching.